nobody wants to see yourself, you know, having sex on screen. My favorite memory uh, is watching, so Derek Gaines plays the guy who punches me in the face at the restaurant and then popped in locks. Derek and I were roommates uh, for a couple of years. So, and he used to exercise like that. He used to pop and lock and dance. So to be able to see the transition from my living room onto the big screen was my favorite thing. And I couldn't be more proud or excited. Well, that was a fun day because Pete had to get punched in the face and you know, we wanted it to look real. And Pete was like, just punch me in the face. I'm like, but I think we're supposed to like make it look like you're being punched in the face, but really you don't get hit. He's like, just hit me. I I, I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got hit twice. I got hit first. And then when he threw the Hulk hands off, it hit me in the gonads. So that really hurt too. When we shot the scene towards the end, when Kelsey and Scott are on the Staten Island Ferry, we shot it like while the Staten Island Ferry was just like fully still operational. So we were like in the ferry terminal, like waiting with like all the commuters who were going to work, like just like us and like a little film crew. Um, and then we had to like run onto the ferry, like find a spot and like shoot the scene like as quick as possible because it obviously only takes like five minutes to get to Manhattan. Um, so it was kind of like guerrilla filmmaking. And yeah, it was, it was really fun. Pete was in a, in a, some kind of harness too, because they had to like dunk him. Uh, you know, it had to appear that Bill was throwing him in the pool. So he had this harness on and he was attached almost like Pinocchio to like this, you know, on a string. And he had to go in and out and be dunked in and out. And it was, it was pretty sad. <laughs>It's actually cool that it it ended up being an Easter egg in the film, but what really happened was that's how I used to work at this restaurant. And after after work, if you had an issue with another uh, you know waiter or busboy, how that they would solve it is they would bring out Hulk hands and boxing gloves, and you guys would duke it out. So that's actually a true thing that happened. And I and much like in the movie, I got my ass kicked. Oh, I wish. I I wish that would happen. That would be the coolest thing that would ever happen to me. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much Spider-Man would win everything. I'm not, I'm, I've am i never, like, I don't watch those like super movies. Sorry, MTV fans, but I'm not, I'm not. I'd like to pretend I was, but I've not seen it. I can't wait to see the next one. I know that they had to put it on hold, but I think I think Tom Holland is a great Spider-Man. I obviously love Zendaya in it, so can't wait to see the next one. And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, I don't. I don't know. And that's how I, I didn't know that he did that. I've got to check out Will Smith, <laughs> the other Will Smith. Well, Judd is the face of sex. So when, <laughs> when we were filming, no, it, was, it wasn't awkward. Judd was uh, really sensitive and made everything, you know, as least awkward as it could be. And luckily, Belle and I knew each other really well. Um, but yeah, I mean, filming any scene like that isn't the most fun. You know, nobody wants to see yourself, you know, having sex on screen. You know, it's, it's kind, of, kind of awkward. But, you know, I think, it, I think it came out to be a really funny scene. I mean, it's definitely awkward generally, and also Pete and I are friends anyway, so that made it like really awkward. Like we didn't we were, like pretending that it was like never gonna happen. Like we not, we couldn't talk about it. Like if anyone mentioned it, we'd both be like, no, no, no we don't want to like talk about that. Um, and yeah, Jack was really great. Like he let us do it in like one. Like we just did like one take, and then it was over, and we like forgot it never <laughs> happened because we were both hating every second of it. I'm scared most of the time. I don't even look at the monitor. I just go, is it over? And, you know, I try to keep it brief in the shoot and the movie. Although Belle just told me yesterday that after one take, I had to tell her that when she was having sex on screen, she forgot to do her Staten Island accent and was speaking the way she normally speaks with her, her English accent. And uh, I guess I whispered, get the accent back. But she got distracted, she got carried away and she, she forgot. On the last day of shooting, Pete 
like got every as like a gift to everyone like got like a brought like a tattoo artist to set and like you know anyone can get a free tattoo if they want. <laughs> i personally didn't go i don't have any tattoos so i didn't do it but um i think a few people did a lot of the cast and the crew got them but the crew guys uh, and girls really got a lot like it was funny seeing like this sweet crew lady who like you know would say a few words and would be shy would like was walking out with a huge dragon on her arm <laughs> she got this very big dragon um so that was probably the the most nuts one yeah i mean i got like a giant um you know uh image of pete on my back i think people knew about it for a few weeks and like any tattoo that they had had in mind or had been wanting they just like brought a picture and got the tattoo it was really nice of him to get that for people but yeah i'm i don't know i'm kind of I haven't come up with anything that I would want tattooed on myself yet. Also, I see so many actors have to get their tattoos covered. It just yeah. seems like a lot more time in the makeup chair. <laughs> so maybe I'll hold off for a second. For us, it was a local trauma and a national trauma, 9-11. And I think, uh, you know, there are repercussions uh, on a personal level. And that's what the film talks about, that, that you know, Pete, he does, he just doesn't walk away from that. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot going on in the world that we all have to process. And I think it's a good time to uh, have a laugh, but also look at what's what those feelings are like. You know, the younger generation now are like way more open to, you know, talking about those um, important issues and those are the people that we want to see the movie. So hopefully it will, yeah, it will get people talking about them, those subjects. Yeah, and anytime like any movie can make someone feel less alone in their struggle or pain is, I think that's just super important. So hopefully people have a good reaction to it. Tattoo restaurant owner, Italian restaurant busboy, or firefighter? I would have to go with tattoo restaurant owner because it's a dream of mine. I really, I know like it's a big joke in the movie and everybody thinks it's hilarious, but I think it's a great idea. <laughs> I think people get hungry while they're getting tattooed and the people that are waiting with you while the person gets tattooed get very hungry and it wouldn't be the worst idea to have some food and drinks. I want to be the busboy at your restaurant. Ruby Tattoos Days. <laughs> uh, I guess busboy, because that sounds like the easiest of the options you've given me. The other ones sound like they, they're, they're definitely more high stress. <laughs> tattoo restaurant owner. I stick by that, that tattoo restaurant. I think it's a great <laughs> idea. I'd probably have to say the same thing. I'd be worried about some health risks. Might be a lot to own the tattoo restaurant, but yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Mustard, mayo, ketchup, mayo, 100%. Like I'm obsessed with mayo, mayonnaise, I love it. It's my, actually my favorite food. This is hard because I love ketchup, but also mustard. I love like spicy mustard. It's one of my favorites. So that's that's a hard one. But maybe mustard? Wing, thigh, breast, none because I'm vegetarian. Sorry. <laughs> breast. <laughs> I'm scared of the bone. So I always get nervous about wings. Harry Styles, Ed Sheeran, or Justin Bieber? Harry Styles, obviously. Yeah, Harry Styles, no yeah. brainer. <laughs> Spider-Man, Star-Lord, or Iron Man? I'm gonna say Iron Man. Yeah, I'm gonna say Iron Man too. He's like the OG. Catfish, Teen Mom, or Quibs? I love Catfish. I've seen every single episode from the first episode it started airing. Yeah, Catfish is my favorite. I would say Cribs. I'm obsessed oh, with Cribs. It. I said Cribs. I don't even know what that was. It was it. No, Cribs. I just thought like I was like maybe there's a new show in the UK. Rihanna, Beyoncé or Taylor Swift. Beyoncé. Every time. Queen, Queen B. This is really hard. I really love them all so much. It's it's really hard to pick. I don't know. I don't even know if I can say, but 
I am I am a Swifty and I have been to every single one of Taylor Swift's shows <laughs> every time she's come to LA. So probably Taylor. But I love Beyonce and I mean it's hard. I can't. 